This thing about the um, black and mild cell, like, it has nothing with, to do with them um, not wanting to have the cravings. They always apply it wherever I am. And um, you see, he came out to see if I was really telling. They have nothing to, it has nothing to do with them applying it. The craving to Upland Avenue because they always apply the cravings like the drug cravings to whoever is in the area that I'm at so anyhow it has nothing to do with that it has everything to do with like me rejecting them and them acting like they're rejecting me you get what I'm saying so this is taking place one time and these agents were like I can't even tell you how bad something like that can be these hoes are on the verge of dying and are like still doing dumb shit like that They say he, she really put his ass in the darkest place because he realized he wasn't able to get nothing for it. And he didn't believe that I was riding the bike. And he thought that I was going to send somebody else in. I don't even like people. I don't talk to nobody. I don't have um, encounters. They said that we are natural. Disastering Tequila Oliver and acting like we're doing it to Upland Avenue. We keep applying all their debt to her and attacking her behind it. It was a female agent that said that. So what they want to do is push me into one of the places that doesn't car like for sure. So that'd be like the marathon down the street that my brother probably goes to. And but there's a um, spot that I mentioned before across the street from there. It's like a um, hostel, like a hostel setup, and a bunch of those old creepy identities that they use to stalk me when on a bus live there. This was not even like this before. Oh, that's a lot. 
I didn't even realize I was still recording. I guess the student driver got the memo how much I hate them. Because he thought it was funny at first when I came out. Came out with a different look. <laughs> 